Hello, today I'm going to go through how to uh, calibrate new speech. So, um, we start with the debug new speech um, example, which is there in your um, new speech library. In the installation folder. So this is the uh, debug use speech example. We, what we do is we uh, upload it, compile it, and upload it. Now, what we do now is we go to the serial monitor, and you're given a list of options. So to get started, the most basic thing we need to check is our volume. The volume in this case is going to be, uh, uh, as shown in the option screen, comes with letter C. So hit C, then click send, and now you have a bunch of numbers streaming down in front of you that reflect the volume. So now I'm going to keep quiet for some time. And then I'm going to start talking into the microphone for you speech. A and now I'm silent again in from the microphone. And what we do is we look at these numbers after clicking auto scroll. We scroll scroll up. Most of the numbers are below a thousand while I'm I am relatively quiet. Whereas while I when I speak into the let me see where I can get it. Um, this is all silence. When I speak into the microphone, as you can see, we are not now in, into four digits. So what we're going to do is in a in a new in a new file. Um, this is for use speech 4.0, which in a, which is um, for in, in a new file we shall uh, set the min volume value here to a 1,000. So voice dot of course I've not initialized use speech yet but let's just get through that um, and now in the setup function let's put this as our um, minimum volume value Okay, so min volume, it's right there. So about 1,000 for in my case. In your case, it may be something different. It could be 2,000, it could be 200. It's probably not going to be great, greater than, say, 100,000. Next, we let's open the, the, the monitor again. Um, actually, let's, let's restart the monitor. Okay, so we're back. The sketch is re restarted. The next thing we do is we check the COEF detector algorithm, which is we're going to be training this to recognize our voice, um, different letters, and the COEF uh, the COEF algorithm recognizes about say around um, the letters S and B. Um, sorry. Letters S, S H, C H, um, and different shades between the vowels um, E and A. Uh. So to start off, let's uh, start off by testing our S. Okay. So uh, we're going to change the S value accordingly. So now we ch check the cough detector. We click, and you press, and hit D. You have a bunch of numbers. It should be zero while, I, while I'm not speaking into the microphone. I, I'm bringing the microphone close to the mouth, my mouth. And now I'm going to start saying stuff into it. So I'm going to start with saying E. And then I'm going to go and say A. And I'm going to see the difference between these. E. Okay, so I've said E. Now if we scroll up, um, just a moment, 
all of scoring can do. You can see most of the values are between 1 and 0 and the occasional odd blips of 0 and 1 again. So that's E for you. Mostly 1, which is fairly reasonable. Now let's check out A. A A E Now the last time I said E, if you scroll back up, it's all ones, right? But now if you remember when I said A, most of it is twos and threes. There is the occasional one. However, that's why we have a a, a newer mechanism will get rid of it. So around less than three is A. So now we know these two. If you look at the header, E constant and A constant. E constant, voice. equals around equals 2 because it never exceeds this value well, even though our value was 1 we put 2 because it never exceeds this value similarly for uh, the a a constant um, we put 4 okay so this uh, that starts E and A. Now we can program V and SH and S actually. So now let's go on to make some more weird sounds. Now I'm going to say uh, SH into the microphone and we shall see what, what the values are. Now uh, let's scroll back up as usual. Okay, there's a bunch of twos, but it's mainly threes here. Oh, a couple of fours and fives, fours, threes and twos. Now, um, you always have a bit of the the mess, but we can say around say exceeding. It never really exceeds a cert uh, a certain number, so. Let's look at V first, and then we'll decide. Okay, back to scrolling up. Now V's are around fours and fives-ish. Uh, 